G'day and welcome to Chubu. In this video, we go foraging for the elusive and highly sought after porcini mushroom in the Adelaide Hills. We find a whole bunch and even find a few cheeky Belitis pinophilus, also known as the Pinewood King. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm Jacob, welcome to Churu. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about the porcini mushroom. I don't know why I'm whispering, but it's a lot of fun. This is what we're after here in the Adelaide Hills, one of the most prized mushrooms in the area. And we just stumbled across a Churu. shitload of them. I'm gonna to have to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, beautiful. The porcini mushroom, or Boletus edulis, is a super delicious mushroom that has a sweet, nutty flavor, is super dense, and can be found all over the Adelaide Hills in South Australia, if you know what you're looking for, that is. Autumn is the time to go hunting for these bad boys, and a little pro tip is to search in dense pine forests that have a scattering of oak trees, as porcinis are mycorrhizal, meaning they form a symbiotic relationship with certain trees. They grow off the roots, meaning without those trees, pines, spruce, and oaks, to name a few, the mushrooms simply cannot exist. Three little baby Pacini's popping up. Huh. Hey, there might be some big ones around here. Yeah. We'll just cover them up a little bit and Save them for make later. sure we don't step on them. Mm. Should be good in a couple of days. Alexander here has a saying, oaks and pines, pacinis you find. This time of year, you can also find a close relative of the pacini, the Boletus pinophilus, or the Pinewood King. They are very similar to porcinis, though a little bit more mild in flavor, but still an awesome delicacy to be sure. That, that's what I've just found. Oh, good work, mate. You're a legend. Look at this little cheeky one. Can you just put them out? Yeah. Oh, let's shave that? off those roots so it's not all dirty. Yeah, I'm going to shave it. I'm going to spare them off in the areas now. This is so ridiculous. We're not even um, picking the pine mushrooms because there's so many pachinis. <laughs> it looks like an... Oh, there's another one. Look at you just found that one. Oh, you're cute. Should I leave him? He's pretty small. But no one's going to take it. I mean, this is... No, look at these tiny ones here that are ready to go. Yeah, they look like magic mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. You can identify a porcini by its brown, slightly reddish cap that can be wet or a little slimy sometimes. White pores under the cap that turn yellowish with age, but won't change color when bruised necessarily, and its slightly webbed white stem. They are firm and have a nutty-like scent and taste. They are quite distinguishable, but the rule when foraging is to always go with someone who is experienced, the first few times at least, so you know for sure what you are picking. Our rule is, if you are not 100% certain you have found what you were looking for, then don't eat it. Hey, what do you got there, Cars? Oh, just a couple of little pacinis? <laughs> I need a bigger bag. <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger bag. Look at this. Oh, actually... <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna throw this pine mushroom up in that group. <laughs> I didn't even bring a bag. Oh. After a few hours in the woods, we felt we had foraged enough mushrooms for the four of us, and so it was time to have a well-deserved celebratory beverage. Hey! Yeah. Well, oh. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah! Thanks for watching. See you in the next adventure. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Fabulous. Now that's all, all that's left is to sort these bad boys out. That one's yours. That's your, that's your king. How are you feeling about that, Cuz? That's, that's the best. Oh. White gills, that's how you want it. That is so sexy. Oh. How many kilos? What was it? Six or what? Six total. Six total. Six total. Six total. Insanity. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. This is almost a half a kilo in one. <laughs> That's oh, wild. That's so dense. They're so dense, it blows my mind. Very dense. So sweet. You could even dry them out. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to check out our pine mushroom videos and our mushroom cooking videos. We're going to be doing a lot more mushroom cooking videos, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to be sexy and awesome all the time. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next episode. What are you cooking, beautiful? Mushrooms. He's cooking crazy wild mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to trip out some flavor.